see this video of dog flying through the sky wearing a sunglass wearing a cape what if i told you that this video was generated using ai now what if i told you that this weird teddy bearish thing also generated using ai what if i told you this video of ship going through a storm was generated using ai and primarily from a painting all of these three videos were generated using ai and now if i have to talk about so this all of these were generated using metas make a video uh, ai system that generates videos from text before i jump now, into the video it's are interested in generative ai and check this course out on udemy it's about the world of generative ai every concept that you need to know ai text generation image generation avatar generation ai audio generation and finally video generation so you learn to automate every single bit of content with ai after checking out this course it's on discount right now so you may still be able to get your hands on it jump into the video text now um this system is not available to everyone including me and i think most of us won't have access for this but i'm going to do a quick walk through on what's coming up in 2023 and it's pretty crazy um so let's take a look at the uh, website itself that meta has created to showcase what they are working on it's called makeavideo.studio you can read a bit about it and at some point when this becomes public feel free to apply for this and we'll go through this in a little more depth as and when it gets available so it's a research builds on the recent progress made in text to image enables you to do text to video uses description to learn what the world looks like and how it is often described it also use unlabeled videos to learn how the world moves with this data make a video enables you to bring your imagination to life by generating whimsical one of a kind videos with just few words of line line of lines of text So look at a dog wearing a superhero outfit with red cape flying through the sky. So it's pretty fascinating how merely by getting this much text, you are able to generate a dog floating through the space. Now the reason why it is not available publicly is, if I have to make a guess, is because the whole system of generating image to text, as you may have noticed, takes crazy amount of resources. Talk about building millions and millions of frames in a couple of minutes. It takes a lot more energy than that. which is probably why it's not public right now because of the scalability challenges but let's take a look through what else we have here so we have make a video with text which is the first section itself let's look at these right so teddy bear painting a portrait it looks like he's painting a portrait of himself uh pretty fascinating right so while it's not perfect you can see that's a hand looks like a gorilla's hand or a human's hand but at least the direction is correct a robot dancing in the times square so what happened here is that you fed uh, the model this prompt robot dancing in times square and it was able to generate this for you with very very little context cat watching tv with a remote in hand it's not perfect this is a human hand uh, this does not look like a perfect remote but at least you can see the direction in which the ai is heading in Now this is a more detailed um, prompt where it says a fluffy sloth with an orange knitted hat trying to figure out a laptop close up highly detailed studio lighting screen lifting reflecting in its eyes so you can see that it's very detailed and it's, it looks more realistic than the ones that we had seen before it also goes on to say why you know ensuring that you write right prompts is very important let's look at more realistic ones so uh, an artist brush painting on canvas close up looks pretty real to me a clown fish swimming through the coral reef again looks pretty pretty real uh, from that standpoint and this looks um at least to me this looks like uh, a real video right a young couple walking in heavy rain it's taking a while to load this one alright okay so it was able to load it uh looks like the orientation is a bit weird now i wouldn't call this video perfect either but at least uh it tells us where we are today and it's pretty fascinating given that this itself is generated by the ai how was drinking water uh, let's look at this again all of these are videos primarily generated using the power of ai so no human was involved uh you know either to feed 
what the model created or to generate what the model was creating so let's look at the next one which is the horse drinking water so it's taking a while to load i'm not sure why let's look at the other set stylish one so hyper realistic spaceship landing on mars looks pretty realistic to me an oil painting of a couple in formal evening wear go going home get caught in every drowned pool with umbrellas wow it's not perfect but it's scary how real this looks right there's a table by a window with sunlight streaming through illuminating pile of books okay let's wait for it to load An emoji of a baby panda wearing a red hat, blue gloves, green shirt and blue pants. Pretty interesting. Let's look at, um, you know, the section where it also talks about how you can generate videos from static images. So this is the single image where you feed in the painting of this boat and the video generates. And this is something that I showed you earlier, right? It's not perfect, but it's in the direction. Then there is a video of a person doing image of a person doing yoga. You can see how the video is now animated. Then there is a video of a turtle swimming through the ocean. This one looks pretty realistic. The fin itself is moving in the video. Uh, let's also look at the pair of images. So this is yet another, and I think this is one of the. Uh, most interesting ones I've seen so far where you can put multiple images and combines multi how, how the multiple images would look together so you can see fed two images and then it generated a video based on that you feed these two images look looks like art and it should be able to generate something uh, on it should be able to generate something on the lines of these and looks pretty weird I don't know what it is but at least it put together both of these things where well, now it's generating some sort of a weird pattern then a couple walking with their kid in a garden you can see that he fed two pictures and now the person is moving the whole the entire couple is moving obviously it's not again like i said it's not perfect but it's in some direction astronaut floating through the space so you feed in the video of an astronaut floating. This is again video to video, right? So you feed in the picture of an astronaut floating through the space and it creates a bunch of variations for you. You feed in this weird dancing, whatever, and then it generates variations for you again. You can see how funny it is, right? It's creating, <laughs> especially the fourth one is so weird. It's just coming out of nowhere. And then finally, uh, a video of bunnies eating grass and it created variations uh, where bunnies are looking a bit different in every variation and i think that's uh, what is happening especially when you talk about the maker video space from meta now so if you like this video consider subscribing to the channel drop a like on this video share this across with a friend and i'll see you in the next one thanks so much